Hey everybody, I'm in Xinping, China, and this has been my ball and chain for the last week. This is the Click Elite Contra Jor 40. I've owned several Click Elite bags before. I just like the style of them. I like that they look cool like adventure bags. And uh, so I picked this one up because I needed a larger one for uh, coming on this trip so I could uh, still fit it on the plane, but could hold as much gear as possible because I wanted duplicates of everything because it's not every day you can get to spend a week in China. So, um, so let's walk through the bag. I'm gonna show you the bag and some of the photos we're getting from China. Uh, first, does it fit in an airplane? Yes, it does. On the reg regional jets, it's, it's a tight fit. I had to put it under the seat for those. Uh, but for most airlines, it'll fit just fine. This is a hard, there's a hard aluminum uh, frame in here, so you can't really squish it much, um, at least, vertically um, but but it does fit and so that's nice if you want the bag that you know you can use in a pinch on a small overnighter or to carry a ton of gear this is the one you can access the camera easily with this nice really large side port that does fit a, a pro body and a pro lens 24 to 70 with the lens hood attached or the 70 to 200 if you have those pins hood reversed. Uh, so that fits in nicely. And then to get to the rest of the gear, you go here on the underside, has double zippers. And that's where I have, uh, I was carrying two wide angle lenses, 70 to 200 and the camera body with the lens attached. Lots of accessories, has this nice pouch to put a lav mic, uh, trigger release, uh, lens wipes, that kind of stuff in there. So that's your main compartment. Laptop compartment is really small. It fits a Mac Air barely. It would fit a tablet and nothing else. I mean, it, it barely fits, just because of the length of it, barely fits a 12 inch laptop. Um, on the top compartment, <laughs> I didn't say this was going to be a good tutorial. <laughs> On the top compartment, I fit all my flashlights. It has a special compartment for your memory cards and stuff. You know, passport, all of that. But the thing that really sold me on this bag is outside the camera compartment, I've got to hold the jacket, DSLR, range uh, pocket. I put a monopod in here and, and uh, my flash gear, all in this extra space right here. So this is the camera compartment, and this is where you can put all on this outer layer. It goes the full length all the way down, where you can put jackets, all that kind of other stuff. And that's where I was able to just stuff a ton of gear. Uh, so when you're getting on the plane, it's perfect because you can have all your gear in there and a change of clothes if you get your bags lost like Karen did on the way here. Um, and of course, it holds the tripod really securely, not going anywhere. It doesn't flop around when you walk. Um, and also has a rain fly on the bottom that we use definitely uh, to go over the top. Uh, for when it was raining it last night during the cormorant fisherman shoot it was really helpful. Um, you can fit a hydration bladder in there. The, well, the, the waist pack is not real padded, but it fits really nicely. And even carrying 35 pounds of gear, uh, it, you know, it worked. Uh, it starts to wear a little bit, but it, it fits just in the right spot that even though it's not padded, it works nicely. The bag is pretty light uh, overall and has lots of spaces to hang little things off. I love it. I think this is going to be my new favorite camera bag, at least for this week. I'll see what I switch to next. But so far, I'm really liking it. See ya.